Home diagnosis shows that in every home, there's one thing that impacts how it feels, smells, and sounds more than anything else, the skin. Just like your own skin, its job is to keep inside stuff inside and keep out weather and contaminants. Your home's skin is made of the air tightness and insulation layers. That's usually two different things. And they should usually be touching each other. They should certainly never have big holes in them, but often they do, and we're about to show you how to spot some of them yourself. Since air leaks right through most insulation, pay attention to air leakage first. You know warm air rises and cool air sinks, so the two most vital places to control air leakage is the top floor ceiling and the bottommost floor. Now your floor is probably pretty flat, which is a simple shape, but the top floor ceiling, not so simple. Ever felt hot in a top floor room in summer even though the lower floors are nice and cool? Chances are it has nothing to do with air conditioning. It's because of holes in the skin of the house over your head. So take a walk around the top floor and keep your eye out for places where the ceiling height changes from room to room. Wherever this happens, there's probably air leakage and insulation issues. Any ducts that plug into the ceiling are even more likely to leak air since the ductwork is now in the highest point in the home. The more recessed lights, tray ceilings, dormers, and turrets a home has up top, the more concerned you should be about testing and improving the performance dynamics. Start at the top and all else follows.